Hello and welcome to the final level. This is Ember Spike Deaths. But before we get started, of course, here's my upgrades. Rain of Fire, Reinforcements, and Archers. A little bit of everything else. And my hero is Ulrich. I've got him up to level 9, so he's pretty darn strong so far, but he's not the strongest. Um, so actually, let's get started in here just right away. It's actually a pretty simple level overall until you get to the boss. If you play the boss wrong, he can easily take you down. So um, what you want to do is, believe it or not, focus on the Archer Tower. So we're going to focus on Archer Tower here and here, and as well here and here. So we're going to get these guys up basically as high as we can. Alright, so that's good enough for me. We've got two third tier Archer Towers and two fourth tier Archer Towers. Uh, we're going to leave Ulrich kind of in the middle of the map, and then the reinforcements are going to be kind of a mixture of the left and the right side, depending on how we feel. Um, actually, Ulrich, we can start him off on the left side, actually, because I think on, the, on round one, they don't go down the middle yet. But soon after that, they do. Alright, so we got these guys all going on. So I'm also going to get three barracks guys pretty quick in here. So we're going to go for a barracks down here, a barracks here, and another barracks over here. Now what this is going to do is to stop any night scales or darters from sneaking through the defense completely. Uh, it's very, very easy for night scales or darters just to be like, bloop, and just warp through all of your main defense. So make sure you have some sort of barracks. They're not that expensive. Just have some sort of barracks in the bottom there. And then the whole thing about those guys is, is they catch them. They catch these guys before they leave, and then you know what you can do? You can build reinforcements, use your rain of fire, do whatever you need to do to make sure you take these guys down um, before they leave. So again, you, all three of those guys died, guess what? We pop reinforcements behind them, and now we have a bunch of money. So we're going to go. we got second. we got our, our, our fourth cross before already. And now it's about that time, guys. Let's go for some mage action. So Ulrich is actually having some issues over here. Oh, look, you gotta put, pop your sand warriors out, buddy. Pop your sand warriors! And now we got two Myrmidons coming out. So we have zero magic right now, except for this guy. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop Ulrich over here. We're gonna use this. And we're gonna try and stun these guys kind of in the range of, of like, all of my towers. It looks like everything's going pretty reasonably smooth. But I don't want to set up the next wave since there's so many Myrmidons. I don't have that many, uh, you know, magic towers yet. So more Myrmidons coming out. Um, it's about that time, guys. Let's get our Necromancer Towers. The Necromancer Towers have a ton of range. Uh, super duper useful, and they get billions of skeletons all over the place. When we finally get all of our artillery, you know, piled up over here, uh, it'll be super duper awesome to have those skeletons in the way. So, of course, shoot them if you can. It's not the end of the world if you can't shoot them. But it would be really awesome to just boom shizzle bizzle whoop 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 two myrmidons dead right in the middle there. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. So anyways, here we go. We got our necromancer tower on the left. We still don't have it on, or we have it on the right. We don't have it on the left though. Oh come on, stupid little guy! Stop sneaking through my defenses, guys. Stop sneaking through so easily. All right. Um, let's get the mage tower over here as well. So now I feel a little bit better on the right side now, for sure. I mean, now that we have Necromancer Tower, now it's not perfect. I gotta admit that. You know, any any guys going down the middles might not be affected as much by the Necromancer Tower. But it should pop out enough skeletons to just cause some issues for our enemies. Let's try and shoot these guys, get Ulrich in the way, Sand Warrior these guys. I don't think I want to use the uh, um, re uh, the Rain of Fire just yet. Come on, Ulrich, yeah, Sand Warrior these guys. Alright, Mage Tower's got to get upgraded even further. The usual. Alright, so we got a bunch of guys popping out here. Let's just rain of fire these guys in the middle and send up the next wave. So we're almost up to the Necromancer Tower. I'm excited! Alright, so now we're getting a little bit easier. You know, we, we focused on our Archer Towers, obviously, because they do the most damage. And now, because we have this Necromancer Tower, it's going to help us out in stunning everybody. And now that we have our third... Our, our second Necromancer Tower over here. Um, everything's starting to even out, and we actually feel like we can do a good job defending things. So we're down wave six. Um, the money is a little bit scarce right now, I gotta admit. Um, we've got a Rain of Fire, so we're gonna Rain of Fire... Let's Rain of Fire these guys. Rain of Fire those guys. we got our reinforcements down here. And now we get a bunch of money again. What are we going to do with it all? Hmm, interesting. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to get two mages over here, because it's mostly, you know, magic stuff over there. And then we're going to get another archer tower over here. So we got razor wings and razor wings. Makes sense. 
So if you haven't noticed, I've been specifically trying my very, very best to leave certain spots open for artillery. So I'm thinking if I can get one artillery here and one artillery here, I can still reach over to the middle little area right there. And then same thing with this spot, one here and one here, and I can get two right there. Now this guy, I don't really know what I want to do with him yet. Probably just be an archer tower, um, the usual. Because we're thinking late game here, guys. We're not thinking super duper early game. Um, we don't care if one of these guys, even if one of these guys does sneak through. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but we do not want the boss to be difficult for us. Because then not one life will just sneak through, not two lives, but the entire 20. It'll just bloop, gone. So of course, if you ever have any issues, focus on the easy ways to do. Uh, focus on the best way to just at least win. You know, at least get something done. You know, at least if you're one, getting one star, you can focus on getting more stars later. Alright, so the night night, uh, night scale's coming out right now. Um, again, we got three barracks, though, so I don't feel like they're all that painful for us. Plus, the Necromancer Tower is actually doing a really good job, of course. All the skeletons and stuff in the way. Alright, I think it's about that time, guys. Let's do let's do um, two third-tier mage towers over here, and then we're going to start on our just massive quantities of wasp missiles. Ooh, we got brutes coming out already. Oh, that is a fancy little thing to see. So if I can get these guys bundled up together, that would be awesome to rain a fire room like that. But we're probably just going to have to wait on the next wave at least a little bit. Um... So here we go. We're gonna get uh, second, third tier mage towers. You can tell though, they got they got a ton of health, ton, 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 ton of health. So basically, I have to stun the guy over here on the right, because I think this guy's gonna go down the middle as well. So let's pop Ulrich in the way. We'll rain a fire in just a second. Um. Oh no, no, no! Ulrich, you died on me too quickly. So that kind of sucks, to be honest. Um. But we'll be able to kill him. You know, he's only down to 200 health already. Um, it just kind of sucked that all worked out. I really wasn't expecting that. So now we have a bunch of money. So let's get our Archmage and our Archmage. And then we're going to start building our artillery. So there we go. Got two sets of artillery already started. Um, now we got Savants coming out, though. So these guys are jerk faces. Jerk face McGee's. It's the best way to put it. If you don't take those guys down quickly... They cause way too many problems. So sometimes I actually rain a fire a little bit earlier than, you know, right right when the next wave is starting. Sometimes I do it, uh... Um, if I can get, like, two savants on top of each other, I just do it, you know? Alright, so no savants coming out yet. But usually what I like to do is I like to get the savants at least in range of two of my towers. One tower is good enough for me, usually. But usually two towers is kind of my goal. So let's take care of this one first. Um... If I can, and then we're just gonna we're gonna rain a fire this one while he's bundled up with, you know, a bunch of mage towers and everything kind of over there. So yeah, we take care of the one on the left. The, oh my God, Ulrich almost died on the right, but it looks like he should survive, hopefully, and the Savant should hopefully get taken down pretty soon. Come on, little buddy, come on, down to 40, 22, and six and zero, finally. So let's get those wasp missiles flowing in here. So battle mecha one with a wasp missile. So I'll admit that I don't have that much magic on the right. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Let's pop all of in the front. Um, pop all of my guys right behind them. Of course, in the range of the magic towers. Uh, the cool thing about artillery is even though it's supposed to not be affected that much by arm, or like it's like armor is usually supposed to be good against them, I don't feel like it is that great. I feel like artillery still does tons of damage against uh, uh, armored people. Alright, so we're going to go double wasp missiles right there. And we already got a second tier artillery. So this is actually not that hard of a level so far. Uh oh, we got big chunks of gas coming out again though. It's a very, very, like, small groups of guys that just take a long time to get killed. Stealing all of their health back, of course. Myrmidons. <laughs> Alright. Sand Warriors, go! <clears throat> Sadly, no Sand Warriors popped out in time. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our last little bit of guys over here. Um, it looks like we're actually going to attack, I believe, 
this brute over here. Yeah, let's get this brute. And then we're gonna go to the next wave. Alright, so the Rain of Fire is only about halfway back right now, which is a little bit sad. I was expecting it, I was hoping to get a little bit more, but we did wait a little while. We didn't send out the wave right away. So now we've got uh, our battle mech over here with one set of wasp missiles. Of course, we're hoping we're rooting for two sets of wasp missiles pretty quick. It's the end of the world, as you know it. All right, guys, it's artillery time. <coughs> Let's get artilleries everywhere. Um. Sometimes there's just nothing to really say. It's just so much stuff is going on. It's like, there's Saurians over here. There's Darters. Oh my god. There's Myrmidons. There's ah, blah, blah. There's everything everywhere. And everybody's doing good. You know, look at all the skeletons that I got. Look at them all. Tons of skeletons. I will admit that my magic is kind of weak in the middle here. So, um, I don't know. It would be kind of nice to make this a mage tower. So just in case anybody does sneak through that's kind of armor filled. Um, we can you know, hopefully do some damage to them. Oops. Oopsie doodles. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do the rain of fire over here, guys. We're gonna rain of fire right there. Send out the next wave. Um, and it looks like ooh, it's just a crap ton of darters right now. <laughs> so many! Oh my goodness! Cool thing about fighting all these darters all at once is they give you so much money. So actually, believe it or not, my reinforcements or my barracks have not been upgraded at all. They're just zero zero barracks right now. So I think we at least gotta get them up a little bit higher. You know, I don't have to be crazy or anything like that, but at least be able to stun these darters just in case they sneak through like this guy right here. Especially in the middle here, I think. So we're gonna go up to Templars. Um At least in the middle. I don't know, I because I, I don't have any other extra, you know, necromancer skeletons or anything in the middle, so it's kind of nice to have these extra guys. Alright. Alright, alright. Just checking both sides, checking all, checking the middle, checking everything, making sure everything is going very, very smoothly, and indeed it is. Ooh, we've got two Saurians over here, so let's pop Ulrich over here with some, uh, you know, guys to hopefully help out a little bit, but they're not helping out at all. That's where all the enemies were coming from. Oh, no, Ulrich! <gasps> How much health do you have? One, eight, eight health. No, don't die to the Myrmidon! Ah! Didn't even notice the guy over there. <clears throat> so luckily we've been able to save our reign, of, our reign of fire until we need it, and it looks like this might be the end of the round right now, which is kind of funky that we saved it this entire time and didn't even need it. But it looks like more enemies still coming out. Ridiculous. Alright, so let's get our last artillery over here. We're only going for, um, <clears throat> we're going for four artilleries, believe it or not. Okay. Pretty good so far. So here's one thing that I, start, I want to start mentioning right now, is that the final boss is going to kill your towers. So what you're going to have to do, believe it or not, you're going to have to um, not spend all of your money on the final boss. Not spend all of your money on the final boss. I know that's kind of ridiculous to think about, but it is the best way to do it. There's another Quetzalcoatl coming out, little Quetzalpretzel. Quetzalpretzel. I like, I like their names, I don't know why. So we go, let's get our last battle mecha. Um, now the thing about battle mechas is they're really, really expensive. And they're really, really good. But they have one sad little downfall. When they get destroyed, you spend so much money on them. It doesn't matter how much money that they were worth. It's just like, boom, they're just gone. Because this guy will indeed kill your towers. Don't want to repeat it that many times, but it's the truth. So when you when you upgrade when you're doing this stuff, usually the best way to do it is get at least you know your four or five crossbow forts up to one zero, uh, and then stop after that. Don't spend any more money. So um, basically, all of wave 15, don't spend any money unless it's absolutely necessary. Whether it's to upgrade a barracks to a little bit higher level or whatever, because sometimes, believe it or not, it's actually better to wait on the barracks upgrades if somebody's getting too far or somebody too strong is getting too far, because then you could just magically upgrade them, and three new guys will pop out right away. So, another one of these, another one of those, and... Yes, it's going pretty smoothly. So, wave 15, wave 14, we're gonna wait. Um, this is one of those things where we definitely don't need the extra money. Screw $30. Screw, screw, screw $30. We can, you know, just kind of study what's coming out. We've got Savants, Brutes, Blaze Fangs, and Myrmidons. They're coming out with everything that's the strongest. Myrmidons, Brutes, Blaze Fangs, and Spawn. So it's uh, the same thing on both sides. Um, with all of our artillery, hopefully we can take these guys down pretty simply. But I just honestly don't know for sure. 
I think what I might do is I might do a pretty early, um, I might do a pretty early rain of fire. We'll see. All right. I don't really know where to put all right, but let's just pop him up a little bit closer. At least let him do something. All right, Ulrich's just about dead again, <laughs> as usual. Even though he's actually got medium armor and everything, he dies pretty pretty fast. He's only got four health. Should have liked to at least have the Sand Warriors pop out. So I think that's the second Savant. So we're probably gonna try and oh no, probably gonna try and rain a fire at the last one. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get this up to a crossbow for it. There we go. Um, at least have every single tower filled out. It's kind of important. So the Savants, eh, take it down pretty fast, I guess. There we go. Second Savant down. There's another Savant. I think there's another Savant coming out after them. I'm just... Oh, there it is. So we're going to Reign of Fire this Savant. Uh, and he gets taken down. So that's going to be a lot less guys we have to deal with just because of taking down that one Savant. I know it was kind of weird to take down a Savant like that, but realistically, even his 1,000 health will turn into, like, 10,000 health of having to deal with every single one of these guys. Alright. So right now, it's kind of crazy. We have $2,800 built up, and you're thinking, why haven't we spent that money? Chris, do something with that money! Um, no, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to chill with what I got. Um, yeah, I'm just going to chill with what I got. Don't, don't upgrade too far. And we are going to be able to win round uh, wave 15. And now it's time, guys. It's time for the final battle. The final boss. It's moving. It's alive. It's alive. Master, please help me. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> now I'll consume this world. I am invincible. All right, starting off right from the get-go, this guy seemingly is a little bit tough. You want to rain a fire him, um pretty quickly, I guess, you know, if you want to. I'm going to use my reinforcements first. I'm going to rain a fire him next time he pops out. Alright. So do not rain a fire the little blobs, by the way. Um, you want to rain a fire him as a giant, as the giant boss that he is. Just like so. Alright, so we're doing pretty good damage to him. Wasp missiles and stuff are taking down most of his little baby guys. He's down to about half self already, but that does not mean he's going to die. So he's like, fascinating. I can't believe that this guy's actually doing something to me. Absolutely crazy. So we do get gold for killing these guys, but it's only like five gold. So here we go. This is where we're going to do the massive amount of damage. All the wasp missiles attacking him. He's got 10,000 health we got to kill. Alright. Almost dead. Come on. Explode him. Explode him. Explode him. No! He didn't get exploded yet. I am invincible! So this is where he starts killing our towers, I think. Alright, there he is. He's back. Took him down for the first time. So what you want to do is just block these guys as much as possible from getting back to their home base. Um, but the thing is, is after you kill like two or three of them, uh, they just automatically, whoop, they just come back no, no matter what. So it would be nice if you could just keep killing them forever. But sadly, we can't. There we go. He's going to take one of these guys down right from the get-go. So I have a lot of money right now. I'm actually going to buy all the way up to a battle mecha with wasp missiles again. But everything else is going to be crossbow forts forever. Just straight up crossbow forts. That one, I don't even know if I want to get up to a crossbow fort. Let's just get him up to a little level. So here we go. Rain of fire, baby. All right, look at the wasp missiles. No, he didn't get rain of fire completely. But the wasp missiles still attacked him, which is kind of nice. I was not expecting that to happen. So he exploded that tower, too. Oh, no, he attacked my Necromancer. Oh, what a jerk. Cross before there, and we're pretty much out of money already. I know, it's kind of ridiculous. There we go, we plopped him into bloops. Bloops already, little blooby blobs. All right, so he's down to four little blobs. Um, got very little health left, less than half of his health at this point. Lots of enemies still coming out, though. Apps of freaking lootly. So you noticed how my 4,000 gold that I had saved up didn't really matter as much as you might have wanted it to. Yeah, I know. Kind of ridiculous. At this point, if you were, um, you know, building way too many battle mechas with double wasp missiles and everything, you would be in for a world of hurt. Luckily, I'm not 
excited for a gigantic mega world of hurt. Alright, um... Ulrich's here to stop these little ghosts from sneaking through. So all it's gonna take is, hopefully... And now he's spamming even more ghosts, by the way. The longer it takes a really, really long time. Oh, we killed that one too? Now, right now, it's like the middle is not going very well at all. There we go. Stun him before they get through. And now all we have to do after this, he's only got two blobs left. Now all we have to do is take him down for this last time. So one rain of fire should be enough. Wherever he appears, though. I don't know. So here we go, rain of fire him, take him down, baby, take him down, and we do, we take him down with the rain of fire. No lives lost on Ember Spike Depths, we are the champions. You are the superstar! Yay! Victory! Hurrah, hurrah! So I know they don't want us to skip it, but, but thank you, Ironhide for making an amazing, amazing game. Um, it's actually kind of weird that they didn't make uh, Kingdom Rush, they made Kingdom Rush Origins, and now I don't know if they're gonna make the new Kingdom Rush the aliens. I think so, I have a feeling. All right, so there we go, guys. We got three stars right now. What am I gonna do with my upgrades? I think I'm gonna go up to artillery next. I know magic towers are nice and everything, but this is gonna be amazing. Reducing artillery special abilities, reload times. Now the thing about this is when we start doing heroic and iron challenges, they, li they limit us like crazy. So you might be better off not doing it like this and actually going for you know one on each and then two on each and three on each when you once you finally start doing those. But um, that's what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this amazing video, make sure you press the like button for me. I do appreciate those and have a super duper delicious day.